What is up guys, it's Raul TV, I'm back again, I'm back, back again, right, what it is, what we're going to do is, uh, I've got a VW Passat here, the Passats and Skodas don't leave me alone for some reason, you know, well anyway, I'll fix them anyway, I'll fix all everything, yeah, uh, what it is, I'm going to replace, not replace, but I'm going to try saving this guy some money, uh, I said put a new one on, where he goes, kind of you know try cleaning it out and fix it for him that way what is saying it on, on the code reader it's saying the throttle pedal position center right which is the throttle housing for my money right because the electrical one I'll show you I'll switch the camera on right that there is a throttle housing it's got the throttle pedal position center everything built in it yeah uh, he needs a new one there's no two ways about it he needs a new one okay but to buy a new one in the UK, I would say it's going to cost easily, easily about about two hundred pound minimum, right? It could go up to three hundred, maybe more, right? Uh, but second hand, I don't know. Obviously, I won't fit second hand parts. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take it off for him, right? And I'm going to clean it, clean it out, and see uh, if it does the job. Uh, if he doesn't, then obviously he's, he'll need a new one. But if he does it, happy days, everybody's happy, I'm happy, he's happy, Raul TV happy, everybody happy, let's go! The th throttle pedal is there, uh, pedal, the throttle pedal position sensor, the throttle housing is there, right? So what we're going to take off first is that. We're going to take the air filter box off. Haha, <laughs> I got you guys, you thought I wanted to say something there, didn't I? No, we're going to take something off here. Take this bloody thing off, the air filter off. And then we can have more access, more uh, we can get our hands in there. Um, happy days, everybody will, be, everybody will be happy. I will be happy because it'll be easier to take it off. Right, guys, the next job for us is we're going to take this uh, wiring plug off, which I have done. And uh, where, where the hell have I put it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take two little Jubilee clips off. One there, one down there. I'm just pointing at it. Take them two off. Take the dipstick holder bracket, whatever, with a 10 milli. Take that off, which is there, and then um, I'll tell you what to do after. Right, guys, I've took the pipe off with great difficulty, uh, not for the faint-hearted. Um, like they say, with great difficulty comes great responsibility. No, that don't make no, that don't make sense. <laughs> Stop laughing there, Phil. Right, okay, I've, I've tried to be a bit poetic there, you see, and you know, do, uh, get, uh, anyway, stop talking. Anyway, what we're going to do now is, uh, we're going to take this one off here, it's a Torx 30 socket we need to take that off, take that off, there's another two more underneath, one on this side, I've just took it off, another one on the other side, which you can't even see it, um, but it is there, basically I'll show you. It's that type of socket head we need, a Torx 30. So yeah, take them three off and that should just fly straight off. Right guys, I've took the bottom two off. One little top tip, uh, you know the anti-cooler pipe, the pipe that uh, we took the, you know, this pipe off, remember? Yeah. Make sure you put something, cover it up with something because uh, the last thing you want is, you, wanna, you don't want to drop a socket or a nut or a bolt or anything down there it's gonna really make your day because taking that pipe off unless you've got long magnets like I have here these long ones um, even with them it'll be really tricky uh, to fish it out so basically put a rag over it or put something over it and uh, yeah you should be okay then so anyway I'm on to the last bolt let's take this last bolt off Last one, and that's the way. Oh my goodness! Check that out. I would say that needs a clean. What do you think, Phil? Yep, definitely. But it's the problem, muscle. the problem is right. Okay, we can clean that out, and happy days, no problem. Inside the inlet manifold, it will be exactly the same. So, strictly speaking, what you're supposed to do is take the inlet manifold off. Take the inlet manifold off clean that out properly, basically, basically clean the ga gallery out, clean the pipe out going this way, the EGR pipe, clean that one out, which I'm going to do anyway, it's dead easy, Torx uh, 30, them two off, that little Allen key off there, 
that pipe will come off then you can clean that one up as well and let's look inside it let's see how it is inside it all I'm saying to you guys is I can't see it but I'm gonna have a look at it on the video uh, it looks knackered I had a little glimpse of it it looks absolutely knackered so uh, yeah let's get to cleaning hey guys I've cleaned it up as best I can um, I think that's clean that's a big improvement from what it was uh, I'll do a before and after picture so you can uh, you know compare it but yeah I think that that'll do for now we'll put it on see how it drives it can't drive any worse than what it was so uh, yeah so let's put this on let's go right guys uh, we're nearly there we're nearly home we're on the home stretch basically as you can see that's on I'm gonna get the pipe back on this pipe as well which is the metal pipe I took that off I thought I'll clean it up I'll turn the camera on so you can see, you can see better time to put that pipe back on the pipe of death that is the hard one I don't, I don't like that pipe and uh, I'm gonna get this pipe back on as well the metal pipe which is here that one goes like that put that one back on it's they're all Torx 30 basically take them off except for the end here that's the allen key head size 5 allen key and uh, yeah basically after that I'll start it up give it a start let's see how it drives okay guys everything is back on I've got the uh, the throttle housing back on the pipes back on jubilee clips are back on really hard jubilee clips to get I mean not really hard the pipe was unbelievably hard to get back on basically we have to I had to bend the pipe because it's rubber obviously it will bend bend it and then get it on uh, that pipes back on what I'm gonna do now is put the air filter pipe back on the air intake pipe put that one back on and uh, that's it anyway guys uh, that's how we change or clean or you could say uh, yeah clean clean the uh, throttle housing up so if it comes on it comes on the uh, scanner saying the throttle pedal position sensor or the throttle position sensor is knackered or you know it's coming up uh, the codes coming up for it try that try cleaning it out before you go you, before you go spending about 300 quid you know so anyway guys like share and subscribe to my channel hit the bell button for me Leave a comment in the comment section and I will see you guys soon.